Welcome to Did You Know Number 30, where we come up with some fun facts from the Bible that maybe you don't know. So Alana's going to have a couple, and I'm going to have a couple, and then we'll have our question and answer. Alright. First Samuel. Oh my goodness, we went to another book. Wow. First Samuel, chapter 4. And we got verse number 1 and then verse number 21. 1 Samuel 4, verse 1. And the word of Samuel came to all Israel. Now Israel went out against the Philistines to battle and pitched beside Ebenezer. And the Philistines pitched in Aphek. Verse 21 and she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory is departed from Israel, because the ark of God was taken, and because of her father-in-law and her husband. Did you know that Ebenezer Scrooge, well it doesn't say Scrooge, Ebenezer is in the Bible, and did you know Ichabod Crane, no, Crane's not in the Bible, well, there is Crane, but anyway, um, basically, two names that are from the Bible are in the play and the movie, The Scrooge. And they're in one chapter. And they're in one chapter. You got Ebenezer and Ichabod. So, did you know? It makes me wonder if the person that wrote uh, Scrooge actually read the Bible to, and they must have, to get the name. So, I'm, I'm just guessing. Anyway, all right, the next one, I gotta write this down, give me a second, I'm gonna, uh, the next one is, First Samuel, chapter 17, First Samuel, chapter 17, Verse 18. 1 Samuel 17, 18. And carry these ten cheeses unto the captain of their thousand, and look how thy brethren fare, and take their pledge. I wrote on here, I said, Wisconsin is not king of cheese. With cheese has been around for thousands of years. But Eric and I were talking, you know, the fact that David brought cheese to his brothers when they were at war. And if you think about it, you know, the saying that, um, well, I don't know if everybody says it, but usually cheese will stop you up, but and it takes a long time to process cheese in your stomach. It, it makes you wonder if they gave, he gave them cheese because it being milk, um, also that some people think it's a protein that may, and it would be good for them to, when they're fighting, it gives them energy. I'm guessing. I don't know. What do you think? Did you know that in the famous story where David defeated Goliath, he was originally sent to the battle as someone who is just delivering cheese to his brothers. And he ends up saying, Hey, who's this guy that's challenging you? And they say, Well, I, he said, well, why don't you go fight him? And they said, Oh, no, he's too big for us. And David says, Well, I'll fight him. So that's how David fought Goliath, as he was on a cheese delivery mission. Yeah. All right, my two did you knows? I'm in 2 Kings. 2 Kings 17. Second Kings 17. Verse 25. And so it was at the beginning of their dwelling there that they feared not the Lord. Therefore the Lord sent lions among them which slew some of them. Wherefore they spake to the king of Assyria, saying, The nations which thou hast removed and placed in the cities of Samaria know not the manner of the God of the land. 
Therefore he has sent lions among them, and behold, they slay them, because they know not the manner of the God of the land. Then the king of Assyria commanded, saying, Carry thither one of the priests whom he brought from thence, and let them go and dwell there, and let him teach them the manner of the God of the land. This is when Assyria takes captive Israel, the ten northern tribes of Israel, and God sends lions to kill the Assyrians. Did you know that? Did you know that God sent lions to kill some Assyrians? Then uh, 2 Kings 18. 2 Kings 18. Here is Rabshakeh, and he is sent to the southern kingdom, the two tribes of Judah. And he is trying to get them to surrender to the Assyrians, because Rabshakeh works for the king of Assyria. In 2 Kings 18, 27, But Rabshakeh said unto them, Hath my master sent me to thy master and to thee to speak these words? Hath he not sent me to the men which sit on the wall, that they may eat their own dung and drink their own piss with you? Did you know that eating dung and drinking piss is in the Bible? They didn't do it, but it's there. The words are there. Okay, our question and answer. Last time, our question was, what person did a miracle while dead? Congratulations to Charles Martel, who sent in the correct answer. It is found in 2 Kings 13. 2 Kings 13, verses 20 and 21. And the answer, who did a miracle while dead? It is Elisha. Elisha. 2 Kings 13, 20. And Elisha died, and they buried him. And the bands of the Moabites invaded the land at the coming in of the year. And it came to pass, as they were burying a man, that, behold, they spied a band of men, and they cast the man into the sepulcher of Elisha. And when the man was let down and touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood up on his feet. Resurrection through Elisha when Elisha was dead. Not many people know that's in the Bible. Lots of interesting stuff in 2 Kings. Our question for this time also comes from 2 Kings. Give me the chapter and verse. And the answer to the question, how many Assyrians did the angel of the Lord kill in one night? How many Assyrians did the angel of the Lord kill in one night? All right. Thanks for watching. Did you know number 30?